Let's dive into some college basketball. Uh, we're talking college hoops with Sean Higgs. Just a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. Let's start with Xavier St. John's and let me get to my notes. Uh, Xavier favorite in this one, uh, minus one and a half. Uh, total sits at 141. Uh, Xavier 16 and nine on the year, uh, nine, 14 and two against the number. St. John's 14 and 11, 14, 9 and 2 against the spread. Uh, what do we like in this one? This one's at Madison Square Garden uh, as well. Xavier's one of those teams that's on the bubble to make the NCAA tournament. So you know they're going to be at least trying to play well. Uh, who do we like in this one? Yeah, they're, they're you know, clearly on a the bubble. They're in there with the loss to Butler. And, you know, I look at this line at 1, 1 and a half. I'm just shaking my head because I look at the, you know, they win at the pole. By eight, they beat Seton Hall by 12. They beat Creighton handily double digits. Marquette the same way. And yet here against St. John's, a low one and a half number. It's one of those games where it really doesn't make sense to me. You know, Heron's out for St. John's. He's their leading scorer. And I get, you know, guy goes down, other people come up. But, you know, this is a team, you mentioned their ATS record, hot out of the gate. Hot out of the gate with their new coach. But then league play starts and, you know, all your ugly warts come come out to show when you're playing against your your Novas and your Cranes and Xaviers, you know, who've won 10 straight over St. John's. But I got to say, the last time they played, St. John's forced them into 19 turnovers. Again, didn't translate into a win, but if you're going to be sloppy like that here on the road, that's the only reason I can see this line be a one and a half. It's like one of those too good to be true lines. I'm taking a home dog right. here. This is like, a, it's MSG, but... Let's be honest. St. John's plays all their marquee games here. This is a home game for them. Uh, uh, Xavier will be back for the Big East tournament in a couple weeks, but I don't know. I'm calling St. John's here. I know they're bubble Xavier. They need to win off of already a loss on the road here, but I don't, this this line just tells me St. John's is going to win this one here. I got one and a half, whatever. I'll take a money line plus 110. I'm taking St. John's. It just makes no sense to me why they're, you know, three right. nine in, in Big East play and it's one, it's one, it's whatever. We're, it's, you know, it's like Duke last week. That line was eight and a half. We're like, why is this line so high? Florida State's a top 10 team. We're looking at, and it was a battle. You know, Florida State was there the whole game. And this is your a, a team that's probably NCAA bound versus a team that's heading to the NIT if they're lucky. You know, I can't, right. whatever. That's one of those St. Right. John's. St. John's are nothing. 